Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Got some pimpage for you. First, I just want to thank Don Wayne Cole 45 for giving me this sweet knife. It's really nice of you, dude. I mean, it's a very expensive knife to just give to somebody. I appreciate it, man. So, uh, thanks a lot, and I'll be uh, loving this thing for a long time. Kidding. Anyway. So first up, I got a Sage 3 here, guys. I got this one a few days ago on a trade, and uh, I love Sage, the Sage series knives. I don't like the Sage 1 too much, but the Sage 2 is sweet, and I've had my eye on this one for a long time. I just like the uh, Blackie Collins bolt, bolt lock. Uh, it's awesome. It's nice and strong, but great EDC knives, guys. If you ever had a question about Sage 2s or Sage 3, and uh, definitely gonna get a Sage 4 eventually. But uh, first up, I got—I forgot to show this one uh, the other night when I was showing the D2 blades. This one actually is my favorite out of all of them. I know everybody likes the Moon Glow, but I kind of like this one a lot, and I think you guys know why. Uh, it's Toxic Green Liners with the OD Green. Just looks freaking awesome. The large Anzo pattern, Sandblast G10, perfect sheath, convex. Thing is wicked sharp, badass. Yep. So most of you guys are keeping these here for the logos, which is pretty cool. Uh, I talked to the dude last night. He said that you know in a week he's gonna send the stuff. So yep, just a little bit longer. But I'm um, getting better at sheets, guys. And speaking of sheets, this is for Matt in Australia, dude. Very patient guy. Really appreciate that. Really nice guy. So I decided to do a sheath for him. He didn't ask for it. Uh, this is his mule team. Spider Co. I'm probably gonna change that here a little bit and some here, make it look nicer. But you know, again, nice sheath, fits great. Uh, this is the S35VN with the Tiger Stripe orange and black G10 with orange liners. Everything's orange for Matt as usual. And Matt, I did do your military, but that was the one I did left-handed by accident. So yeah, when I get more tiger stripe I will be doing that one again um, but yeah the sheath just fits perfect it did scratch the blade I gotta get used to that one but you know I'll fix that up for you dude no problem so that's that guy and also for Matt is a tough toad I haven't shown any of these in a long time um, this one's really sweet so you got the convex Saber grind, sand blasted, the hole, both sides. And then you got the carbon fiber with the large Anzo pattern on it. Orange liners and some jimping that I did by hand here, which turned out really cool. Vance is creeping around in the background. The creepy dude. Not supposed to be in there. Anything he says in his videos, it, it is not my opinion. So. But uh, this guy turned out great. Haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, actually, guys, good news. Freaking Anonymous was holding out on me. Found the AB I needed to get these done. As Anonymous walks in, it makes me drop shit. Close the door. Let the fucking cat out. Come on. The low ride pocket clip. Sandblasted, some black uh, hardware there, goes all the way through to keep the backspacer on. Some jimping up top, which is very nice actually, feels good. And the jimping on the back is the first time I've done it, it's really cool stuff. This thing works really good with that. It's a very expensive file guys, you're like 75 bucks, but you can do some perfect jimping with it. And next up, um... That's that Vance guy made me do a knife for him. I traded, what did I do? Was that for the Surefire? No. Oh, that was the other one. Yeah. Uh, this one was for blowjobs, I think. <laughs> I <No>. wish. <laughs> so uh, this is the one of a kind titanium neck knife here I did for Vance uh, in exchange for something. I forget what it was though. What did we trade for this? Money? Balance. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Bench me. Bench me balance on. But uh, as you can see, sheath fitting perfect. 
Nice retention. Didn't scratch the blade, which is mind blowing to me. Uh, you got the sandblasted anodized, heat anodized blade, which makes it a really dark black. This one has a swedge on it, which is semi sharp. Uh, and this one is thicker titanium, which I have not done yet. Um, it is a chisel grind. Is it? No, no, this isn't a chisel grind, that's right. Full convex, sorry. And I did grind this one myself. Uh, this one has jimping, like some pretty aggressive jimping on the top. It's all rounded up there, which turned out really nice. Tiger Stripe G10 with the small PPT pattern. Heat treated the, or heat colored the screws as well to match the rest. That thing turned out perfect. Feels really good. I'm sure you'll be seeing it on his channel with some of his uh, paracord work on it. And uh, that's about it, guys. It's a short video tonight because I'm hungry as shit and I want to eat something. So, yep, that's it, guys. Have a good one. Peace.